The funerals of four South Africans who drowned in Mozambique are taking place today. A joint service is being held for Lesiho Matsepe and Matolo Mohafe in Khroblasdal Limpopo. Our reporter Malungelo Boy is there this morning. Malungelo, good morning. A very sad day for families as they pay their last respects to their loved ones today. That's right in Tlatla. It's actually a somber mood here as family and friends, in fact, I could say the community of Roblesal and also officials from Limpopo here to say their last respect to Lesejo Matsepo and Mamato Mojave. They were part of a group of eight friends that had traveled to Mozambique um, in Tlatla to celebrate a friend's birthday when tragedy struck. Four of them, um, you know, died uh, in that incident and we've heard from the family spokesperson last week saying that they were so relieved that their bodies were eventually recovered because they've heard stories about people dr drowning in Mozambique and their remains had never been found and now I'm going to bring in into this conversation the spokesperson really in the office of the premier here in Limpopo, Kenny Mativase. Thank you so much for your time. I mean you, you were saying to me Ella you have been with these families from the start Tell me, what kind of, of support have you guys been providing to them from the beginning? Immediately when the tragedy struck, we made contacts with the family, of course, because these are people from South Africa, and we made contact with the embassies, our embassy in Mozambique, and, uh, of course, the foreign uh, departments, international relations, and, again, the Mozambican authorities on what assistance we can give. And indeed, our international relations dispatched a team. And uh, we also supported in terms of psychological counseling, who the Premier sent in our uh, mayor of this area to go to Mozambique to lend support with other officials. We're also assisting with other logistical areas. You will see the Premier and other MECs and the Executive Mayor of uh, Skukuni and the local municipalities will be here to again lend a support in the sending off of these two young people. I mean, it, you were saying it, it, it's an unusual um, incident, you know, South Africans dying abroad, and this time around it's young people from your province. Yes, it is an unusual incident that does not often happen. We have heard of other incidences. We have one incident that happened two years ago. Yeah where unfortunately the body was never found. We're just grateful that the bodies were found because you wouldn't have a burial. You can't have a burial when the bodies are not there. So we're thankful to God. We're thankful to Mother Nature for the fact that the bodies were found and were able to have a funeral like this. I mean, in, in, in situations like this, because this is quite a traumatic um, experience, as I suppose the families will continue to require you know, um, support uh, in terms of counselling. Yes, our support continues. Uh, psychologists for the survivors, because all the survivors are from here. And uh, counseling also for the families. They're so distraught. The families, when we're talking to them, you can understand the pain they're going through. So that support should continue until such time our psychologists are satisfied that uh, things are normal. That's why the MEC for social development, um, Mapula Mkawa, was here two days ago uh, for the families and those that uh, had come back. One of the survivors was so distraught that she had to come earlier than the other survivors to receive continuous support and counselling. All right. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Yes. Kenny Mativa, he speaks for the office of the Premier here in Bobo. It's back to you.